It's Thursday, July 23rd, and the concrete truck is here. He's turning his um, barrel, I guess, to soften up the concrete inside that barrel, and then he's got the chute ready to go, and we're getting ready to pour the second half here. So this is going to go very quickly after this. You see they had a little partition where they finished the other portion uh, yesterday. So he's going to come over here and pour what needs to be done and then they'll finish the edge. I guess they're doing it in portions because I see another partition there. All right, he's moving in. And Concepcion has his outdoor speaker. Yesterday we heard the music, it was pretty cool. These are all the pins that they use to hold everything up. Pretty funny, Danny took an old t-shirt and with the Dolan Homes logo on it and had a mask made, I love it. Let's see. All right, this is exciting, let's see. I love when I'm here and I'm able to videotape when this happens. These guys are ready. They got their concrete boots on. It is absolutely amazing to see this taking place. All right, first we start in this little corner and then they'll spread it around. It's pretty methodical. Danny's spraying the other house to protect it. So yesterday was, I don't know, over 100 degrees. It was awful. So we only were able to do one side. Normally we do the whole thing. But because of the weather, a lot of things have to adjust. He's got ear, uh, what do they call those cuffs on your ears? We once wore those for a monster truck rally in Philadelphia. Oh my gosh, it was so loud. But as you know, we're still in the middle of quarantine, so all the guys are wearing masks. And our lovely Clayton driver <laughs> is making fun of them. I guess inside his little booth, he doesn't need to worry about that. Okay, here comes the rain, I can feel it. The whole science of concrete is absolutely amazing. There was a video I once did, and I looked up on my phone all about concrete, and I read it in the video, it was pretty funny describing how it was first invented and what its properties are and pretty, pretty fascinating. Anything with construction is usually fascinating because the finished product is amazing. I got the guys these yellow shirts and I supply them with new shirts on a regular basis because they get really pretty dirty. 
and it's safety for them. And we have a great um, family down in Point Pleasant that does the screen printing. I love them. So believe it or not, their name is School Uniforms, which is pretty funny because they also do a ton of businesses. And in the winter, I supply them with jackets that are screen printed and pants. And I got the guys hats for the sun and hats for the winter too. We really love our guys, so we treat them really well and look after them. This is working fast as it sets really quickly. <clears throat> so you've got Danny in the front closest to me, Conception, and Raul. And Raul's been the least amount of time with us, but Conception and Danny have been with us for a very long time. We're really a very small family business, and we have um, these four guys that do construction. Uh, Patrick is the construction foreman, our nephew. And then our son does the designs. Robert is the managing partner. And um, I do all the marketing and sales. I had a... Um, switched everything to email because it was overwhelming with all the people calling. So with email, I can work a little faster. It's very hard to explain all the details in a telephone call. And now with the quarantine, we've switched to um, our online, on our website, contact form. So that is the beginning. You fill out the contact form, answer the 15 pre-qualifying questions, and then I tend to send uh, four emails in response to the contact form. The first is the informational email that includes the lease and the resident application, and then another email that goes over the answers. And there's things on it that like the 650 credit score, that's um, a minimum to apply. So there's a lot of people who apply that have a 500 credit score or 620 and unfortunately we have a minimum. But a lot of times people like work on their credit scores to improve them and then they'll come back to us. So it's really very, it's really beautiful how people will save up their down payment for a year or two and then come back to us. We've had many people do that. It's really fascinating or they'll work on their credit score, clean it up, and then come back to us. So during the quarantine, we've also been um, offering tours that are self-guided, and everybody wears a mask and gloves, and then we unlock the door uh, and then let people go in during the appointed time and then lock it right up after they leave. Typically I have Danny uh, unlock it for me and lock it back up here in Edison. And then in Carteret we have Chuck unlock the door and down in Harbor Crossings we have Joe unlock the door. It's a great team effort. And we've sold a lot of houses this way. It's been very unique. There's been such an interest and I thought we would be twiddling our thumbs during the quarantine, but we've actually been busier and working harder than ever before. Uh, like I said, the amount of emails and inquiries has been astronomical. I believe YouTube has been, been paramount in helping people know what we are building and the quality of our construction. And I do get people that are not from this area who make comments on YouTube about how expensive it is. But if you're from Alabama and commenting that you can get the same house for one-tenth of the cost, 
You don't really understand what it's like up here in the shadow of New York City. It's so expensive up here and we know that we're cheaper than the luxury apartments nearby and the median income of a, I mean, the median price of a house in Edison is over 350 now. So this house and this house are very similar to the one we're going to be having arrive here. So we just sold D5 and that house already had the pad. So little by little, like I said, YouTube has shown people what we're building and if they're living in a bad situation, both of the people who came to us for this house and D5 were living in an apartment. And honestly, there's just a human desire to have your own place. So there's Pat, he's the construction foreman. And today he brought Lachlan little fella. So we're the Dolan family. We've been building manufactured homes since, oh my gosh, 1954 when we started in Carteret. And uh, 1974 in Edison and Harbor Crossing. You gotta move quickly for this to set. So they'll finish off the top in a smoother way with these um, pallets here on the ground and it'll be like nice and smooth like this is. of this particular house is so much more than normal because we're on a hill incline here. See how it comes down from that area back there and it's pretty thick. So this um, construction is much more, you know, expensive based on all the concrete that we're installing. But it's worth it to make the house really stable and firm and strong. And in another video I explained all about these piers here that go all the way down below the frost line. So Pat just measured for the next amount of concrete that he needs to order. And this is how cute, look how he involves his son. We actually had a Clayton um, deliverer who delivered to lot D5 and he came back with his wife to go look at the houses. He was so impressed. It's pretty fascinating. We get um, taxi drivers, UPS guys, a lot of them come back and ask about our homes because we're very unusual compared to what people perceive for quote unquote a trailer park. Pretty much we're not. This is a manufactured home community and we've slowly, methodically 
uh, change the nature of the older homes that had lost their usefulness. So the older homes were built when there was no standard for housing. So in 1976, the federal government created the HUD code and thereafter it was uh, just like a stick build. It's two by six construction, Energy Star insulation, like it is just like a regular house. And it's meant to withstand longevity because it goes down the highway at 60 miles per hour and nothing falls apart. Uh, occasionally we'll get a little tiny crack over the window. That's it. And we patch it up and make it all good. So uh, it's a remarkable, remarkable housing choice for people. We're so happy to be able to offer this. Honestly, a lot of times we think we're in the happiness business because we make people really happy. I mean, your home is where you rest, relax, thrive, and get ready for another day. So uh, it makes us really happy to be able to provide this. It's really the American dream of home ownership. It's innate, like I said, in someone's soul to want to have their own place. So we own the land. This is a land lease community and the family owns the house and they can do whatever they want inside. I've had people who are like, can I paint my own walls? And I'm like, of course, of course you can. And um, it's thrilling to be able to be, you know, the king of your castle. how much more they're doing, but they are spilling out the rest that's in the truck.